Life is Strange. It's been a little bit since I played, but I figured I should probably get back to it. I really need a uh, last time on. There's extra feet there. They're just chilling. Two girls, five feet apart, because they're not gay. Aw, she's so precious. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb! Photo hog. Oh, so cute. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I have no idea. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is for you. I really just don't want to get up. Just lay down. Out the taxes, hang they out. Turning their lights off. I was so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit. It was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Can we just skip school today? I like her shirt. It says rock chick. <laughs> I know you have a heavy heart. I can feel it when we kiss. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out trying to live. Okay, only a little bit longer. If nothing happens, we'll get up. Just keep going to the bathroom or so you'll be right back. Well, it takes one to know one kid. I think you got that. But what's so easy in the evening by the morning and such? Damn, is 
Okay, I need to get dressed now. Oh, did we share clothes? Ah, oh, thanks, man. I'm stealing her clothes. I don't think I'll be moshing today. No, let's totally be moshy. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. As Blackwell proves, boys are trouble. And way fucking gross, as you'll discover soon enough. Oh, okay, woman of the world. Please tell me what it's like to get that first magic kiss. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get you all worked up. I just don't think anybody is good enough for you. Besides me. That's hella gay. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she has that money from the handicapped fund. Hey, lazy ass, put some clothes on. And we can scarf the awesome breakfast choices kicking up. Ew, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. Let's look cute. You can like her always ex. rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Do it. I double dare you. Kiss Do me it. Now. Yes. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Yes! 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 Oh man, that was priceless when I came. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Yes! Yes! Her sleeve is glitchy. Unless there's a hole in the shirt. Looking God, sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Hell yes. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. Aww. It's like when we were kids here. That's sad. I don't know if I could rewind it far enough to be able to save Kate. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Oh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. 
So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. But she hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. Damn. I wonder if I'm just we're hoping ever she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but. We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Yes. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, uh, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Who drinks beer this early around here? I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. I still can't believe there's, you know, um... Seeing you again? Um, cameras oh, around. Made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy. He's not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. My feelings are hurt. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. 
She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Dude. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nope. Nothing to see here. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? All right, let's try some stuff. <sighs> try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Worst hacker ever. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. That's cute. Could be a password here.
cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Look at us Whoa. go. We did it. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Wow. All of this is really weird. Why is it every other one is drugs? Yeah, that's freaking weird. I better tell Chloe about this now. Let's browse this bad boy and get some amp. Can we, like... Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Because I don't want his computer Why being does David care? open. There. We'll leave it locked. Talk to you soon. I just leave people with like on red. I don't even feel bad. Damn. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Fingers you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more Why about does this guy than have me? to be a dick. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens yeah. so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David! You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. 
Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I feel bad for Joyce. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Now what? Should we just leave? Should I try to talk to David? I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Uh, you're the one hurting your own family, you psychopath. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. What the hell is he eating? Because that don't look like no cereal or nothing. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Looks like he's eating a bowl of beans. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Let's steal the gun back. Shippers. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe. I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. More nasty shit. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. What is going on here? It's a casual dead bird. Is that another one? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. This is so creepy. That really, really is. She only goes to high school. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Yes. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Thanks, Mr. Fisherman. You're real polite. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you!
You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those bees. Are I'm you trying. fucking insane? I was eating those bees. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up.
What can I do for you, Max? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Rachel! I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Or are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Rachel! Your sugar daddy will always protect you, and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father, or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole! Maybe I can help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Rachel! Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Damn. Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. now you know I saw that photo Rachel gave you uh, uh, how do you know about that huh Chloe right she just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you really yeah I mean that's what I thought 
He was just a natural beauty, you know. Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. You eat like a pig. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. She's still digging in the trash because there's tons of dead birds everywhere. <laughs> Max? Fucking... I say for us because we share a name. Hey, pretty lady. I should have known. The amazing spider, Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Oh, thanks. I've got to deal with the angry dog. On your mark, get set, throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. him getting hit by a car so we didn't throw it towards the road damn I thought my room was a shithole you're not a creepy drug dealer Frank has issues but he's not creepy at least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet and a picture oh we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond yes we'd be tearing up the highway and you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Aw. I hope she's daydreaming about Max. You scoop the area while I... Did you know I Frank has a knife lying around? Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? First rule about drug dealing, don't That's do a pretty your own extreme shit. lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? That's Happy fucking Wi-Fi. genius, though. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. It is. Too bad they're fucking psychopaths. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. We 
could sell that for ourselves. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Okay, but first we gotta find shit to pry shit open. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. How can somebody live like this? Pretty easily, apparently. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Especially in this shithole. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. My blade will open any portal. Lay gasp. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Oh, damn. I'm the Leo, and we don't look back. That's just concerning, though. Okay, let's close that shit off. And try this vent. Or we can't try that vent anymore. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! a plate of beans. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. Bet. Gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay. Fine. But you just don't understand. It's 
like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Damn. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. I hope we did the right thing. Oh my god, what is happening now? Are we seeing the, the things that happened in pictures? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. It's like that box of cereal Am never I left that counter. You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crackers. I'm 18 years old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. We. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. Like you're the real cook Chloe here. is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time unless I change it. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Joyce loves William so much. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whale. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. 
Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, you can't hide but not after today. Now lock up. Score. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two-way. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Max, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just... Um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Disconnected. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work for two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, 
What are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. Why are my keys under here? And no Chloe and Matt. Keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Uh, hello. Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Bryce? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. Boom. Disconnected. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> You are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. College fund. Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting, You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would... Oh, Chloe. Can I just throw his fucking car keys in the goddamn fireplace? Disconnected. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and enjoys and groceries and... and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Oh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Damn, what happened? Oh, we changed the past.
gonna be all punk rock and awesome now. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Cold every day. Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. What? 
can get I even know to look for the gun. all for now. I freaking hate this game. <laughs> See y'all later.